What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video is going to be the full review on the Cutters uh, Gamer Gloves. Now uh, before we start off I just want to thank Cutters for sending me these gloves to try out so thank you to them guys. Uh, of course in this video I'll link to where you can buy these gloves, I'll link to their all that other stuff so don't forget to go check them out. Uh, of course here we have them in the uh, red and white colorway. Now these gloves retail for uh, $55. You can get them at East Bay, uh, Cutters, maybe Sports Limited as well. Those are the big three I know about. Maybe even Dick's Sporting Goods. But the uh, two for sure I know are East Bay and Cutters, so I'll link to both of those. And they also come in all the traditional Cutters colors. They come in uh, red, white, uh, blue, black, and navy. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the full review. Okay guys, so uh, of course before we start the full review, I always give you a quick tour through the gloves. So uh, starting at the bottom, we have a screen printed Cutters logo right here. We have the locking wrist strap, which comes across like so, with the Cutters logo on it. Uh, that is like a silicone material, that should be pretty durable. Uh, just to let you know, the Velcro on here is not micro Velcro, so this will get caught in your clothes, so I'd be very weary of that. Continuing on the top, we have a good amount of padding. Uh, all through the palm, all on here is completely padded. On here is completely padded. Uh, everywhere where you see it raised on the fingers, this is padded, as well as there's segmented padding on here. The thumb is heavily padded as well. We have four sets of padding here. Mesh material right here to give you a break, give you some uh, flexibility and some breathability. And all along the top here, we have perforations. Uh, we have some perforations inside this material here, of course in there. And we actually have no perforations on the insides of the fingers. Hopefully it can be breathable enough without them. Continuing to the inside, we have the Cutters C-Tac grip with the RevTac coating. Again, I'll talk about those in a bit. And especially you can see it also has some perforations. Of course, the categories are durability, breathability, grip, protection, fit. Also where you should wear these gloves at. So we'll start with durability. So Cutters being Cutters, I know how durable their products are and I think Probably they're one of the most durable on the market. The reasons being, Cutter C-Tac grip is more durable than Adidas or Nike grip or even Under Armour grip. The C-Tac has always been a really durable, great, almost more friction like the Hyper Beast grip, but it's still also a really good quality uh, sticky grip. They're also, they don't do a lot of screen printing on their gloves. There's a little bit on top here and really this is the only thing that I see as far as durability is concerned that could come off. Everything else they use is sewn in like silicone material, so I know their gloves are super durable on both those aspects. So I know these are gonna be crazy durable gloves. Obviously, they're gonna get a 10 out of 10 as far as grip is concerned. Next is uh, breathability. So they do have all the perforations on the top here, which they tried, and there's some perforation in here and the foam, that kind of stuff. But as you guys know with me, as soon as you consider that you're adding protection and you're adding foam and more material onto the top of the gloves, they're gonna become less durable. So I'm really not concerned about breathability when it comes to any Lyman gloves, although I do still include it. The one thing I wish they did is I wish they could have been able to put some perforations on the insides of the fingers here. I think that would have helped. Uh, there's also still a lot of, you know, of that on the palm. So they might not have added that just because they thought that'd be enough, but it's still, it would still be nice to be, uh, nice to see that. So this glove would be a lot less breathable unless for this. So thank God they put the perforations on the inside as well. So even though this is a long glove, there's padding, it's still gonna get 7.5 on breathability. Next is grip. So as you guys know, I love the Cutter C-Tac grip. The only one thing I don't like about it is the RevTac coating, which they put on them now. What the RevTac coating is, is they say where it's supposed to become a lot more uh, grippy, just because they say if you get any dirt on it, you can wipe it off and it becomes immediately restored grip again. Now, Nike and the other companies take a completely different approach. They take an approach of, you might not be able to get it back to full grip, but you'll still have a little bit of grip when there's dirt on it. With cutters, it's when there's any dirt on it, it loses all its grip, but if you wipe it off, you can restore it back to full grip. So it's two different uh, ways of looking at it. Personally, I like the Nike's way, because when I played on a dirt field, uh, it was you know dirt and grass, but mostly dirt, um, these don't perform under those conditions. you know. If you're on turf fields, this would be a lot better glove because there wouldn't be as much dirt to worry about. But when you get any dust in these gloves, it takes away the grip and you have to wipe it off. 
So I, I fi kind of find the uh, other grips better just because you don't have to worry about wiping them off as much. However, if you have the time to wipe them off, it's a really good quality grip. That's why in grip, I'm going to rate it an 8.5 out of 10 because if you can take care of it, it's a really good high quality grip that's really durable. Next is protection. So there's a good amount of padding on these gloves. They're really similar style to the old Super Bads. Uh, in fact, there's even more padding than the old Super Bads. I kind of like this more than the old Super Bads because of they add a lot more padding on the back of the hand where you can get hit with helmets and that kind of stuff. So there's not a lot of padding on the fingertips, which you're really not concerned about. Personally, I don't really care for padding on the fingertips. The only place I really like padding are on my thumbs, sometimes on the inside of my thumb, depending on the style of glove. And the really big one for me is on the back of the hand. So again, they covered all that really nicely. I like the amount of protection on these gloves. These are really good multi-purpose positional gloves. So because of that, on the derp, on the uh, protection, I'm gonna rate an 8.5 out of 10. There's and the last category is fit. So I'm kind of a little all over the place about the fit on these gloves. Uh, as you can see, maybe some shadowing. It's pretty loose all around the cuff. Again, this could all be stuff proportional to me. So the fit is not a big a category because it could just be personally me. So if you guys watched my video last week, um, I'm not sure if I just have super short pinkies or something, but on Cutter's gloves, the pinkies just don't fit as good as the rest of the fingers. I don't know why that these fingers fit so nicely and my pinkies just do not fit at all. And it, it really bothers me, but there's really nothing of course I can do about it. Uh, also, I'm not a big fan of this style where it comes across like this. I just don't feel like you can get it as tight as um, I'd like, so I don't really like that. And there's also this loose here. I know that's to give you mobility. I just like it if it was, it stayed tighter to me. Um, it also fits really great for a lineman glove. It's really, it's a good amount of tightness in here. I found the force gloves a little too tight in the knuckles, but this is, gives you a lot of flexibility in these gloves, which I really like. So because of that, I'm still gonna rate it a 9.5 on fit, because I like the fit. I just think, um, the one thing that I don't like about it is the pinkies, and that could be proportional to me, so I won't include that. The only thing I'm taking away from the fit on these gloves is just the cuff. And uh, finally, what positions these are good at. So these gloves, you can wear at any position on the line you'd like to. Specifically, I would recommend center as their specialty on the line glove because of the amount of grip and a little less padding. So I like them for that aspect from the center position. You could also wear these at any position on the D line. These gloves could also work at linebacker, fullback, tight end maybe even a more uh, blocking wide receiver, and even maybe some safety positions and that kind of stuff. So these are good, really good uh, multi-purpose glove where you have 100% grip on the inside, you have a good amount of breathability, and also a good amount of protections for tackle tackling, blocking, all that kind of stuff. So I find these a really good all around glove. So there's my review on these gloves, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go to my website and check out, we'll all have uh, two pairs of these gloves on for sale for a bit. I think I have it at $45 where on East Bay and uh, Cutters, they're $55. So if you want to get a quick pair, uh, and you're in Canada especially, don't forget to go check out my site because I'm in Canada. So that'll get it a lot faster for shipping. You won't have to worry about the border. So yeah, I hope you guys like my review. Don't forget to check out their stuff. I'll link to their stuff down below. And uh, thanks.